Let's science this. I'm on it. Come discover the world around us. Yeah. We'll observe nature's wonders. <laughs> Using science and imagination. We'll experiment and build creations. Darwin and you. You both need to learn some more about hiding first. Whoa! Wapiti! You were there the whole time? Some call me Wapiti. Others call me a hiding monster. Wow! How do you do that? I use the ancient art of camouflage. What a flash? Camouflage? Isn't that the way some animals hide so you can't see them? That's right, Darwin. Can you teach us this camouflage whoop? I mean, a hiding master? And then, can you play hide and seek with us? First, have fun discovering what is camouflage in nature. And then, when you have learned how to really hide, a hiding master seek you. We'll do that, won't we, Darwin? Definitely. So where do we... We have to learn how to do that. Come on, Darwin. Kia! Kia! Hi, Henry! Hi. Kia ora! Kia ora! What are you up to? I'm looking for Kia. I have some apple for her, but she's hiding from me. She's in the tree somewhere. I just can't see her. I might be able to see her with my binoculars. Wow. Aha! Uh -huh. See there? Let me see! I can't see her. You have to look very closely. Her green feathers look just like leaves. <laughs> Yes! Her feathers are the same colour as the leaves. Camouflage! Yes! We're observing camouflage. It's how some animals hide. You must learn about camouflage. And only then will the hiding master seek you. <laughs> hiding master? Wapiti is the master of hiding. He is amazing at hiding. And we want to learn how to hide from him. Do you want to help us? I'd love to. Hey, why don't we hide in your garden? Great idea, Henny. Let's go. to hide. It's a praying mantis. It's hard to see because it has green wings, a green body 
and it's on a green leaf. That is really cool. Hello, little guy. Maybe it's called a praying mantis because it's praying we won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a stick insect. It totally looks like a stick. Tall and thin. <laughs> I'm still hiding. <gasps> Look what I found hiding. It's camouflaged. Huh? My old green jandal. <laughs> it's been hiding in the grass for <laughs> Snack time! Here you go. Yum! These apples are so juicy! Yeah. It's Tafito, the Tuatara. Yeah. He has the best camouflage of all! He's the same colour as the rock and the same shape. Kia Hello, Tafito. We have a lot of great ideas on how to hide now. Do you think we're ready to hide from the hiding master? Science it! Hmm. I could use colour, like the praying mantis, to hide from Wapiti. And I could be like the stick insect and look tall and thin. And Tafito the Tuatara has given me a great idea. So, are you ready to hide from the master? We sure are. I'll count to a hundred, then I'll come looking. Color to blend into the green grass. Good work. Carpe Darwin. No. No. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Using color and changing your shape. Excellent, Henny. But you didn't quite fool the hiding master. <laughs> is getting hard. <laughs> well done, Newt. You used both color and shape to camouflage yourself as a rock. It certainly is, and animals all over the world use it. Look, polar bears use their white color to blend into the ice. I see it! Tigers use their stripy fur 
to blend into the long grass. Wow! Where is it? Oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! And scorpion fish use their body shape and color to blend into the coral. Where are you all? Are you children hiding again? Maybe I'm not the hiding master anymore. <laughs> <laughs>